Well, what is it? Is dinner ready, Mrs. Potts? Oh, just about. I haven't the foggiest idea what she likes to eat. So, I've cooked up everything in the kitchen. Good, good. <laughs> well, don't just stand there gaping. Get back to work. You tell her. I can't. Tell me what? You've got something on your back. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, come along. Oh, dear. <gasps> oh, what is it? Uh, it appears to be a, a winding handle of sorts. Well, get it off of me. Oh. It, it won't come off. What do you mean it won't come off? It wasn't there last night when I went to bed. Uh, What's going on? Why is this happening to me? I try to relax. Relax? How can I relax with this appendage on my back? Is there no dignity left for me? What's going to go next to my mind? Calm down, friend. Everything will be fine. I'm frightened, Lumiere. I know, my friend, but you are not alone. We're all in this together. <sighs> it's time for dinner. Where is she? Perhaps I should go see about the girl. Won't be a minute. I told her to come down. What's taking so long? You must be patient, sir. The guns lost her father and her freedom all in one day. Mastel, have you thought that perhaps this girl could be the one to break the spell? Of course I have! I'm not a fool. Good. So, you fall in love with her, she falls in love with you, and poof, this spell is broken and we are human again by midnight. Lumiere, it's not that easy. These things take time. We haven't got any time. Your rose has already begun to wilt. It's no use. She's so beautiful, and I'm... Well, look at me. He what? has a point. Shh. You must help us to see past all that. I don't know how. Well, you can start by making yourself more presentable. Straighten up. Try to act like a gentleman. Impress her with your rapier wit. But be gentle. Shower her with compliments. But be sincere. And, and above, above all... What? You, you must, must control, control your, your temper. temper. Well? What? Where is she? Who? <sighs> oh, the girl! Well, she's in the process of circumstances being what they are. She <sighs> What did you say? She's not coming. <sighs> She's not coming. Oh. We'll see about that. Oh, your lordship, <laughs> your <laughs> grace. Master, please. Your hasty. eminence, please. Let's not be hasty. Stay where you are. Louis, stand aside. I thought I told you to come down to dinner. I'm not hungry. I am the master of this castle, and I am telling you to come down to dinner. And I am telling you, I'm not hungry. You're hungry if I say you're hungry. Don't be ridiculous. What did you say? You can't go around ordering people to be hungry. It doesn't work like that. I can do it. Besides, it's rude. Oh, rude is it? Well, then how about this? If you don't come down to dinner, I'll drag you by the hair. This may not be the best way to win the girl's affections. Please. Attempt to be a gentleman. But why is she being so difficult? Why are you being so difficult? Why are you being such a bully? Because I want you to come down to dinner. So you admit you're being a bully. Oh, deep breaths, Master. Deep breaths. Fine. I'll give her one last chance. Would you be so kind as to join me for dinner? Please. Well, thank you. Fine, then starve! <sighs> uh, master, please! If she doesn't eat with me, she doesn't eat at all! <sighs> we'll never be human again. So it appears. Well, what would you two have us do? Give up? I can't give up until I hear the sound of my boy's laughter as he runs through these holes again. Quite right, Mrs. Potts. We mustn't give up while there's still a chance. Lumiere, stand watch at the door, and if there is the slightest change, inform me at once. Oui, mon capitaine. <laughs> I ask her nicely, but she refuses. What is she going to do? Beg? <sighs> Show me the girl. Temperamental, but underneath all that matted furry is not so 
such a bad fellow. Why don't you give him a chance? Why should I? Did he give my father a chance? Well, no. But once you get to know him... I don't want to get to know him. I don't want to have anything to do with him. I'm just fooling myself. She'll never see me as anything but a monster. How long must this go on? This cruel trick of fate. I simply made one careless wrong decision. And that man which was gone and left me in this state. An object of revulsion and derision. Hated, is there no one who can show me how to win the world's forgiveness? No! What did they say? Shower her with compliments. Impress her with your wit. Act like a gentleman. Act like a gentleman? Act like a gentle man. Lumiere! Lumiere! Uh, Babette! Uh. Ah, come to me, my little fluff! Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, oh, it's my hands, isn't it? You do not love me anymore! Oh, this horrible smell! Uh, Babette, you, you cut me to the wick! You think a little thing like that would change the way I feel for you? Now you really tickle my fancy. Oh no. Oh yes. Oh no. Oh yes. Oh no, no, I've been pulled by you before, Lumiere! <laughs> Actually, madame, I am a little hungry. Oh, I'll ring for Mrs. Potts and I'll sing you an aria. Well, we wait. <laughs> That's all right. I'll go myself. <laughs> what about the master? You heard what he said. He's not going to like this. I know. Ooh, oh, oh, dear. Ooh, oh, dear. I like this girl. I like her spunk. Well, if you ask me, she was just being stubborn. After all, he did say please. I think that may be the first time I've heard him use that word. I believe you're right. Well, see, she's already starting to have a good influence on him. Quite right you are, Mrs. Potts. She may very well be the one to break the spell. Very much so. And I know the master can be brash, but she'll find a way. Yes. Not, oh. There you are, dearie. Glad to see you out and about. I am Cogsworth, head of the household. Cogsworth, the girl, she is gone! 